everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new edition, pretty much, of My Damn Halls. It's not completely My Damn Halls. Like, the trusty knife isn't here, because I already opened the packages, because I couldn't hold it in, Brad. I just had to cut the damn thing open, find out what I had in there. This package that I have right here in front of you, you can't really see it, because of all the ish. It's right here, though. You guys can kind of get an idea. I had to open it, man. I had to open it. It took forever to get here. When it finally arrived, I was like, F this, Brad. I, I gotta cut this ish open and find out what the hell's going on. So I cut that hoe open. I got it out there and we took a look at it and it was fantastic and I can't wait for you guys to check it out. But here today we have an edition of My Damn Hauls that I think you guys are gonna be pretty damn excited for. So let's go ahead and dive into the hauls. Okay, so first off, you guys can already see what we got going on in the background. We have the Ultimate Series 1 UFC action figures and I'm pretty damn excited for them. You guys know the first version, like the first go around there really small. They, you know, Jazzwares created these. Same people that make the AEW figures, they came out with some UFC figures, and the first go-around, they were really small. They were way too tiny, so they decided to rehash it, and then re-release the figures. Not the exact same figures, totally. You guys can see Conor McGregor returns to Series 1, but they redid the Ultimate Series. They released Series 1, and they are much better scaled, and we're gonna take a closer look at a few of them. We're not gonna, like, do an in-depth review of them or anything. If you guys would like to see an in-depth review of them, please let me know down in the comment section below, but I also redid my backstage area, which we'll take a look at. You guys can see I, I had to redo a lot of things because I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, go go follow me on Twitter, Brad. I, I post some like behind the scenes stuff. I post all kinds of ish on there, so you definitely want to check that out, but like God, I feel like I'm about to knock ish over. If I knock that scaffolding over, if I knock that scaffolding over right there, I am going to lose my mind. Get out of my face and don't let me knock anything over or the eggs of the scrambled eye brows are coming. So you guys can see here, look at the size difference between these figures and the last ones. I don't have the Conor McGregor right by me, but if we compare it to this Seth Rollins, like look at this. They clearly scale really, really well together, and I think this UFC figure is actually bigger, so that's pretty cool. I even had an idea of possibly taking one of these UFC figures and making a Matt Riddle possibly out of it, but you guys can see here. Let's take a look at Uriah Faber. Used to love Uriah Faber, man. Probably one of my favorite UFC fighters. Always loved Faber. I've always enjoyed him a lot. He actually had me debate getting braids at one point. Nonetheless, here's the front of the figure. You even get a black hoodie with him. It's really cool. Two interchangeable head sculpts. You get interchangeable fists and stuff. The shorts are no longer cloth on these guys that are actually molded on there. We also have Amanda Nunez who comes with two championships. I mean, dude, just some really cool stuff right there. These figures look pretty damn spectacular, which I uh, again, I can't wait to crack them open. I don't know. There's Connor right there. I feel like he could probably look better if you repainted the, if you repainted the hair a little bit darker. I feel like he would look better. It would make the contrast of his skin tone and everything look a little bit better, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys would like a full in-depth review of the full wave, but if you guys would like to grab these, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, and here's the last in the set. So yeah, dude, really good stuff right there. But now let's get this out of my face because it's taking up a whole bunch of camera space, and it's getting on my last John Brown nerve. All right, that's much better. I feel less claustrophobic. I less feel like somebody's gonna stab me in the neck with a pencil. I feel a lot better now. I also picked up another Seth Rollins WWE fan takeover that came back in stock on Amazon, so I went ahead and grabbed an extra one. I felt like I could do some cool attires or something like that. I always enjoy getting this head sculpt for future customs. Still bothers me that the gold got left off right here, but, you know, I mean, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make a fantasy attire or, or paint this. Uh, I'm gonna do something with it. We'll get some good usage out of the Seth Football Rollins, but here's the main event, guys. This is the main point of the video because we have some brand new custom head sculpts from my man BEW, and they're underneath this little sheet of film right here. Oh, God. And I wanna showcase them to you guys because I think you're going to be very impressed with them. We're also going to be doing a surgery video on these head sculpts as well as featuring AEW series number four, and that'll probably be tomorrow, so you guys do not want to miss that for sure. Definitely come back and check that out. We're going to do, we're going to use these head sculpts, put them on some bodies. I do have some like blank bodies right here to put them on just, you know, for, for reference to showcase what they're going to look like, but before we get into the head sculpts, I want to appreciate you guys for clicking on this video. Assuming you clicked on this video, so I appreciate you guys clicking on the video and, you know, with free will and all that stuff, nobody's forcing you to watch these videos. You're gonna watch the video. You understand me? You click every single one. You got that? Listen to me. You watch all of MDT's videos. Every single one of them. It's not by force. It isn't. So yeah, completely free will. Nobody's forcing you to watch these videos, so I really appreciate it. It's your choice. 
Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into these. Again, this is from BEW Animations. Probably, like, I've been calling him a magician for years because the work that he does is absolutely spectacular. But let's just go ahead and dive straight into it, guys. I guess we can start off with the first one right here. And we're going to get a good zoom in shot because I want you guys to see this. All right. So the first head sculpt that we have is this Seth Rollins. And oh my God in heaven, man. Look at this Seth Rollins, okay? You think that the top talents head sculpt is good until you see this, all right? So you guys know the top talent Seth Rollins. I have one over here on the fan takeover one. So when you see this head sculpt, you're like, yeah, that's a pretty good head sculpt. And then when you see this one, you're like, good God in heaven, how lifeless does the top talents look? So the whole idea of this was I wanted him to give him a little bit more details. So obviously the hair, the eyes look better. We gave him more of a determined expression. I didn't want him just blank staring off into the sunset. I wanted to have, you know, like a determined face. I wanted him to have a little bit thicker beard. I wanted to have, I wanted him to have a face on the side there. You guys can see the lips are repainted. The eyes are repainted. He does look more determined. He looks better. Like, dude, this this is sick as hell. This is absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. The beard looks really good. I am very enthralled with this head sculpt. It's it very. It looks a lot like the Hell's Gate custom that we got, but if you guys want to see what this looks like on a body, let's go ahead and stick this onto the top talents. He also made all of them interchangeable, so I don't have to worry about, you know, heating them up or whatnot. Because if you guys did not know, if you get, like, a custom head sculpt or something like that, and you heat it up for a long time. It could melt the sculpt. It could, like, make the sculpt fall off. Shout out to the Neville beard. Only OGs know what I'm talking about. But there it is on the body, and just look how beautiful that looks, bro. That is absolutely insane. That looks immaculate. I am very impressed with that one right there. But not only do we have the hair down version, guys, but we also have the hair up version. Now, this one's going to... Now, this one is going to get the blood pumping right here. Look at this. So, it's basically the exact same head sculpt, except it is in a man bun. You know, he's got the same exact expression right there. He's got the fade cut on the sides. He's got the man bun and everything like that. Pretty much looks just like a Monday Night Messiah head sculpt. I'm still waiting on Mattel to give us this. Maybe we'll get one with our... Maybe we'll get one in an upcoming wave, hopefully. Because you guys know we never got an Elite of the Monday Night Messiah gimmick just yet. We got one with Elite 25, I think. It was like one of his first Elites. And so we haven't had one in a really long time. True Effects technology, new sculpts, all of that good stuff. Would definitely make this look a lot better, but here is the comparison right there. So, looks the exact same except one has hair up, one has hair down. So that's just it, just amazing craftsmanship from BEW. Now next up guys, we do have the big dog. We have Roman Reigns. Now look at this head sculpt. Now one thing I will say that I'm pretty upset with is that the, I guess because since there was other head sculpts in the baggies, like there's some little black dots on the cheeks, I'm gonna have to get the, the skin tone that this is exactly and paint over that because there was some paint from other figures like touching the head sculpt and stuff that rubbed off on there, but you guys can see the fade on the sides with the man bun. You guys know I have been wanting this for a long time. This is what I wanted this to look like. The Elite 84 interchangeable head sculpt. Now look at that right there. Look at the difference. This looks better to me and it doesn't have that like long jaw look that this one has. I still think you could fix this one if you repainted the beard or something, but this one is just way better, man. The, the These head sculpts right here, I also have a long haired version or the hair down version. So now again, just like Seth Rollins, we have the hair down version and the man bun version. This is what the Elite 84 should have looked like in my personal opinion. Thicker beard, you got the fade on the sides. Just, oh my god, man. MDT Champion is looking damn nice. So if you guys wanted to see what this looks like on the body right here, like my hoodie, bloodline, Roman, or whatever the hell you want to call this, we'll just plop this head onto my little hoodie fix-up Roman. And there you go. That is absolutely brilliant. I mean, he is just looking like he is going to kill some kids. So the MDT Champion is looking like a boss, as he always does. And we have the hair down version. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Obviously, one's a promo, one's a mat in match gear and stuff. These are probably the head sculpts I'll use in the pick fed for a while. Speaking of the pick fed, I had a huge project that I had to get done before posting the next episode. So now that the project is done, the episode is coming very soon. So turn on the notification bell, Brad, because it's coming. We'll do a live premiere of it. It'll be epic. Vindication episode 17. Get ready. But there is Roman Reigns, guys. And then the last few head sculpts that we have. So we have the Roman, the two different Romans, the two different sets, and then we have four different Finn Balor head sculpts, or Prince Devitt, if you will. So the first head sculpt that we have is the Bane Devitt. So if you guys did not know, Prince Devitt was the name that Finn Balor went by on the independent scene before coming to WWE. And he used to do these different cosplays. It was kind of the inspiration behind the demon gimmick, you know, with him painting, doing the body paints and stuff. But one of those nights, he did dress up like Bane. So he did this custom Prince Devitt Bane head sculpt. And I plan on getting a jacket for it. I'm trying to get 
all of the debit looks knocked out. I'm trying to get all of his different New Japan attires and stuff, so this is one of the ones I never had in my collection. So, look at the sculpted mask on this thing, man. It looks just like the mask that Devitt wore at that event. The Bane mask looks absolutely brilliant as well. And then we also have a couple New Japan head sculpts where his hair was longer. So, you have like a New Japan Devitt. You have this version, and then you have like a smiling version. So, I wanted two different versions. I still am planning on getting more of this head sculpt made because there's a lot of attires we got to make, a lot of different moments and stuff. So, the Finn Balor shelf is about to get a lot better because all these Prince Devitts are going to be made there, but his hair was this sort of longer style right there, and then he did hack off the beard and everything like that. So, really good job by BEW on the New Japan head sculpts. And then finally, Brad, we have this sort of faded haircut Finn Balor right here. And you guys know that I set off my Elite 82 because I love the expression. I just didn't like the shorter hairstyle, so he gave him the longer hairstyle with the pissed off look and the, the hair fade and everything like that. And just, Jesus Christ, man, this looks absolutely fire. Beard looks good, hair looks good, and now I am going to plop this onto my Elite 82 Finn Balor and see what this thing looks like real quick. And here's the Elite 82 Finn Balor with the new head sculpt on there. Looking pretty damn fire. I love the way that looks. Again, huge shout out to BEW for the custom commission work. Balor head sculpts look good. The Prince Devitt head sculpts look good. The Roman Reigns look outstanding. Let's go ahead and get it all lined up here. But I think that pretty much does it for the custom head sculpts and the My Damn Halls and the, and the UFC figures. Guys, again, if you would like to see full in-depth reviews of the UFC figures, I'd probably do the full set, all six of them in one. We could do a little, you know, a little in-depth deal where we take a closer look at all of them, look at the articulation, see if we can get some surgery going on those. Maybe we can interact some parts and stuff, but let me know what you think of these custom head sculpts as well as everything else. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is actually going to go to WJH Wrestling, who has a question about Hell's Gate right here that I thought was interesting. He says, hey, MDT, quick question. At the beginning of Hell's Gate with the car pulling up, who is that supposed to be? Because we've seen a lot of debuts and returns. This is a very interesting question because if you go back to, I think it was MDT Live episode number nine, when RVD gets run down, what car is he hit by, Brad? He is run over by the same car that pulls up at Hell's Gate. So, whoever hit RVD was at Hell's Gate. Now, that right there is up for question. Who was it? Who hit him? Still don't know completely for sure. A lot of people think it was John Cena. John Cena was at the show. He showed up. But was he driving the black vehicle? I don't know. But I wanted to go ahead and answer that question. So huge shout out to WJH Wrestling for that comment. Always love answering Fed questions, unless it's when's the next Fed. I'm just kidding. I, that, that, that doesn't really bother me. It just sucks because it's. I feel like I fail everyone. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And uh, don't cross the line because, you know, if you do...